If you've ever wished that you could spy on any Shopify store and reveal hidden data that Shopify does not share, this video is going to feel like a cheat code. Because today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Zix Shopify store sales tracker to uncover sales numbers, revenue, best selling products, apps your competitors are using even more and even the ads and social channels that drive their traffic and we're not guessing you're literally pulling store data so that you can understand what works copy proven strategies and skip the whole trial and error phase that slows most sellers down by the end of this video you will know how to buy on any shopify store using only the url find new stores in your niche with the store finder break down their marketing strategies analyze their profitability and even use the data to build or scale your own winning product lineup get ready because we are about to look behind the curtain of any shopify store that you want all right let's jump in right now so first, let me show you how to use Zig sales track, okay? We're gonna start by copying and pasting a store URL in the sales tracker. Like, okay, and yes, any URL of a Shopify store will work with this tool to uncover hidden data that Shopify does not share, okay? It can be a store that belongs to your competitor or any store that you want to check out and see if it sells well and learn more about its performance. So let's just take this one, selinadelabo.com. You see that as an example, right? Okay, so, and once we paste the URL, okay, and hit the search, look at this, we get a full analysis of the store. And then if the store is not tracked yet on Zik, you know, like, don't worry, because Zik will start to track and pull data from the day that the store was scanned for the first time. Okay, so here we can see that, um, you know, this is a single product store. And then we can review all the information here. You see that? It's just crazy. We can start, for example, with the revenue, okay? Uh, on this side right here. And the revenue uh, that the store has generated, it's the, here, more than $80,000 in the last 30 days. And then you have the sales chart where we can see their sales trends over time. And it seems like this month, the store had similar sale peaks, probably because by promotions or marketing activity that affected the sales. But anyway, then you have the social channels right here. And this store uses, has three social channels, one in Meta, one in Instagram, and one in Pinterest. And then you have the ad channels. So it's running paid ads on Meta and Pinterest. And the store creation date, the store was created in 2021. And the store apps, it's pretty cool, I love this part. We can actually check all the apps the store uses. And if we find an interesting app that we want to explore, such as the reconvert post purchase upsell right here, you know, we can just click here, view app, and then it will take us directly to the Shopify app store page, right, for that app. Also, I see that it's it's a one product store, as I mentioned before. So it sells this thing here, this uh, cross body clutch wallet, and it has sold 1,958 times in the last 30 days, generating more than $80,000. Not bad, right? Now, out of curiosity, let's see how much we can buy this cross body clutch wallet on AliExpress, okay? So for this, I wanna show you something really cool. Look at this, you know, I can just go here and then I can just click here on the item finder, you see that? And then it will cross match the product with a seller on AliExpress that we can source it from. I see so many exact matches here. So let's go with this one and uh, check this out. So without any discounts, you can get it for $12.92, okay, with free shipping. So this means that the seller is selling the exact product for $42.50, working with around a 70% margin before operational costs, okay? My friends, 70% margin, understand that? With a simple calculation, this seller made a profit of around $50,000 this month before accounting for operational costs, including you know, paid ads and so on. I do have to say, this is a great store. Well, it's amazing that we can get all this data, which would not be visible unless we used Zik. 
If we didn't have this tool, we'd have no idea about this. So basically, from here, I can simply save the store by clicking here, add to favorites, okay? And then I can name the store, whatever, uh, you know, whatever you want, and then I can scan it every few weeks to understand more about its strategies. And for more stores, with more products, it's the same thing. I can save them as well, and every two weeks or so, you can add their best selling products into my or your dropshipping store. Let's continue, let's go with the second part. And before, let me just ask you this. How can you find more Shopify stores and spy on them, right? Simply click on this icon right here and use the store finder tool. My friends, this tool is amazing for searching Shopify stores that match your desired criteria. Let's use an example here. Let's say that you have or you want to create a dropshipping store that specializes in something like selling pet supplies and, and gadgets, okay? So using this tool, you can find all the best Shopify dropshipping stores selling in this niche, and then you can replicate what works, correct? So from selling like the same or similar winning items all the way to understanding their marketing and designing techniques. So if you already have like a, a store or, or plan to create one, you can take the best practices from your research, whatever you find here, from, from, from the winners and improve your operations based on that. So here, basically, you can search uh, for any type of Shopify store, okay? Like drop shipping stores, you see here, single product stores, uh, print on demand and more. But the key is to find stores with strong sales and a few products generating a high number of orders. This means that products in these stores are well selected and well marketed. So let's look at examples in three store types, okay? Drop shipping, single product stores, and print on demand. Let's search for a broad niche keyword, you know, such as pet, like we mentioned before, okay, like that. And then we filter by drop shipping. Okay, and then you can adjust the filters here based on your strategy. And I'm just gonna click like this. I'm just gonna click search, boom, like that, okay? I got a few uh, stores here, and after reviewing them, um, there's this store called catcurio.com, okay? And it looks like a promising dropshipping store. Why? Well, because I can see that it has 488 products available for sale. So this is a strong signal that it's a dropshipping store. Right? And it has generated 947 sales. You see that right here? Not bad, okay? And this store has social media accounts on almost every major platform, as you can see. So it's a great find as well. Okay, so let's just click here on the spy icon, and then it's gonna take us directly to the sales tracker. My friends, check this out right here. See that? So this Shopify store has made over $25,000 in revenue in the last 30 days, okay? By selling what looks like products from cat niche, right? It's all cats, right? Correct? And it was created back in 2017. And in addition to a massive organic social media presence, it also runs paid ads on Meta. So now before we review the best um, like selling items in the store, here's something very important to keep in mind. If you decide to create a store like this one, finding the correct products is just one step, okay? You also need to understand how the store looks, obviously, um, what design practices that they use, like how they market their products and so on. And all of this can be viewed in the top section of the sales tracker. I can click on the store name right here, and instantly see how the store looks, like including the home page, like the layout, the color scheme, like everything that you need to know, uh, like how the copywriting describes the product, what calls to action are used, what sales or promotions are running right now, and much more, much more, just by looking at the store. And of course, you can implement these best practices in your own store. And from what I see here, my friends, uh, this pet drop shipping uh, store 
doesn't need to sell only products for pets themselves. Okay, look at this right here. It seems that this store is heavily investing products for cat lovers, not just cats, okay? They're selling 2026 calendars with cat themes and many other products for pet owners. So not just the pets themselves, okay? So this is something to learn from. And soon we'll see if the strategy is profitable by checking their best selling products, okay? I can also click on the store apps right here to check, you know, whether any of the apps they use could be beneficial for my current or future stores as well. Now, another great thing that the sales tracker does or has is the ability to understand how the store generates traffic that clearly translates into sales. So for this, I recommend reviewing each of the store's social media channels to understand the following things, like which social media platform generates most engagement, um, and which ones are not necessarily or are simply nice to have, you know. Then you have to identify viral social media posts and videos that are working well for the store and take the best practices from them to improve um, your own store's social media operations, basically like to copy it, you know. So let's just review one organic social media channel. For example, let's just click here on Instagram. I see here that creating a store like this one is a smart idea because look at the data. We have 138,000 followers. And then when I click here on the Reels tab, I can instantly see what types of content I should create um, if, if I want to skip the whole testing phase and just increase my chances of creating a viral video. For example, let's go here, okay? Look, here's a Reel with a six, 0.8 million views and that isn't even like advertising a product you understand it simply shows a cat look at this chilling next to a fire pit right and then from that i can see that alone is enough to get instagram users curious and push them to click on the store link in the bio section okay now this now makes sense this cat niche store heavily focuses on products for cat lovers not only products for cats themselves Okay, so we were able to find a store in the niche that we're interested in, verify that it's performing well, understand how to design our current or future store based on successful model, and even learn what kind of content we should create based on their social media strategy to generate high quality converting traffic. You see, my friends, all of that was done using smart insights that Shopify does not share. You understand that? Insights that we were able to find thanks to the Shopify sales tracker tool. Now, let's go to the fun part and understand the store's profitability. Are you ready? Let's do this. By the way, let me know what you think about this video so far in the comments below. Okay, if you want more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as well. It means a lot to me. All right, but anyway, let's go here. Let's go check here uh, the profitability. This is like the most fun part, in my opinion. I, I love this part, okay? After we have all the data that we can implement in our store, we add products based on what really uh, works, what already works, correct? And then when it comes to Shopify, I like to add products to my store that have sold at least 12 times in the past 30 days. And that's exactly what I can do here. Okay, I'll start here. So I'll just click here in the item finder to source the product since we learned that this store is heavily adding products that are for pet lovers, okay? Um, so let's just find out if this strategy is really profitable for them. Let's just choose here this product, uh, the black and white cat flower pots, okay? We do that right here and then I'm just going to click the item finder to find a supplier for this product on AliExpress. Let it load a little bit and look at that. So I found the exact, like so many exact matches. Let's go with this one. I'm gonna open this one for you. And wow, look at that. This is the exact same product that the store is selling for $42.99. And on AliExpress, the same product costs only, look at this, $21.53, okay? With free shipping. So that leaves us $19.91 in profit for each sale. And since they sold 14 units in the past 30 days, that's a profit of $278 from just one product out of many, you understand? So if you want to build a store in the pet lover niche, why not add this product instead of 
guessing what might work, you know? And this is the idea of working smarter and not harder. Like, I hope you understand that. And my friends, if you're thinking about creating a print-on-demand store or um, if you want to understand a bit more about how to spy on your Shopify competitors, you know, stay around. Stick around, don't go anywhere. And if you're enjoying this video again, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel means a lot to everyone here, really does. And if you want to spy on any Shopify store and use the Shopify sales tracker, you can try Zeek Analytics today. Give it a try. Let me know what you think, okay? Um, okay, so so we, we understood how uh, the Shopify store sales tracker works for stores that sell physical products. And for those who are running a print-on-demand store, well, this part is for you. It's a bit different. So let me show you some of the strategic things that you can do with this tool to boost your current or future Shopify print on demand store. So basically to find uh, a print on demand store that we can analyze, we can also use the store finder, okay? Add your niche, for example, I'm gonna type pet again, okay? And then I'm gonna select this filter right here just to show print on demand stores, okay? okay. All right, so I see some options right here. So let's go with this one with the noblepawtrade.com. You know, I like the name. Anyway, I'm just gonna click on the store sales tracker to check the hidden data inside it, okay? Look at that, my friends. So when it comes down to print on demand, when I find a good uh, POD store, you know, I like to, how can I say this? Like to, to start with the Shopify apps section to understand what POD services that the store uses. And look at that. And from what I see here is the T in blue product personalizer. So this is the print on demand app that this successful store is using. This is pure gold information. So by clicking here on view app, I can see something else too. I can see that this app might be beneficial for me and whether that it can provide print on demand features that help me convert better or take my POD operation to a higher level, okay? Second thing that I would do here uh, because of the high profit margins POD products usually have, it's very common to see paid ads used in these kinds of um, store, okay? So I can click here on the paid ads uh, that Zik identified from Meta, right? And here I can see the active and inactive ads the store is running to attract buyers. Now, this helps me understand exactly how to position my own products when it comes to paid ads, what type of content to create, um, you know, what creatives work best, and even what target audience I should use. And lastly, and I would say um, almost most importantly, <laughs> I can see which products are performing the best and take inspiration from them just to create my own print-on-demand products. Okay, so here, for example, this store's best seller currently is this one, is the Custom Pet Mug, okay? And now, this is something I would never have thought unless I discovered using the data, all right? So this is really cool. I actually like this idea. Now you have seen um, how powerful this tool really is. You know, with the store sales tracker, you can spy on any Shopify store, uncover hidden data that Shopify does not reveal and find real winning products. You can also track what's working in your niche and discover marketing strategies that successful stores are using right now, you know? Like what I'm trying to say is like this, you know, instead of guessing what might work, you can build your store based entirely on performance data, like saving time, saving money and growing faster than your competitors who are still testing blindly. And if you found this breakdown helpful, just make sure to like the video and subscribe for more videos like this. I really appreciate it, okay? And again, if you want to spy, use all these tools that I'm using here, try Zik Analytics today. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried or not. I'll get back to you. All right, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. All right, keep moving forward, and I'll see you next time.